Raiden, the terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. What? A hostage has been killed. Shot in the head. They shot one of them on the roof, just to make sure we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the President. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt! They're all in danger! Jack, be reasonable. I know what you're feeling, but you can't save them all. No, not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin to come through? Well... Looks like he's turned his radio off, too. I can't complete this mission by myself. That man was not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. What do you mean by that, Colonel? Your mission must remain a solo effort. What about the SEALs? No second attempt? They haven't even gotten to planning that. All we can do is wait. In the meantime, you're our only hope. I understand. Raiden, go and rescue the President. You can start off by getting to the upper level of Strut A. Finish me, like you finished off my father. Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. Oh, crap. That's not him. This could be interesting. You've seen the fires of hell, haven't you? Maybe you can give me death. My name is Fortune, lucky in war and nothing else. And without a death to call my own. Hurry, kill me, please. For some reason, I can't hit her. I don't understand. She's obviously impervious to attack. What are my options? Disengage her and get out. The elevator is still upstairs. My retreat's been cut off. Hang on until the elevator comes down again. Your weapons can't hurt her, and you need to stay alive. Use whatever cover you can find and invade her.
Right. Fat Man just contacted us directly. Fat Man called us? Yes. Looks like he placed a bomb on the Elma port. He specifically asked for you, right? What? He's killed off Peter. Now he's after you. Why me? How should I know? Look, this is really not a good time for this. The countdown's already begun, right? Great. How much time do I have left? I'll show you the count. 400 seconds remaining. So he's planning on taking this place out. It looks like he has a different agenda from that of Dead Cell. What about backup? None. There's no time. Which type of explosives is it? He didn't say. Seems our friend Fat Man is out of control. He'll actually try to destroy this place? Yes. This could unravel everything we've planned. But why would he do such a thing? Who knows? But he's nothing more than a stereotypical mad bomber now. He's completely lost sight of our ideals. And with it, his loyalty to Commander Jackson. All right. I'll take care of the wayward soul. It wasn't him. Unfortunate. I expected more of this one, really. But he couldn't kill you, I see. Completely useless. Then he's all mine. Later, then. Now! was meant for me. Why am I the only one that can't die? Alone again? Cheated out of death again? <laughs> How long will you force me to live? How much longer, Dad? You've punished me enough. you could give me peace. But you couldn't kill me either. died once already. Them. I can't die twice.
Somebody there. So you're the one. You're right on time, I see. I like a punctual man. Is he dead, Sal? I am Fat Man. I am the greatest that humanity has to offer. And Can you hear it? Hear this rhythm? It's the rhythm of time. And life. Don't you this? I used to hang around department store clock counter. Life is short. Bombs tell the time with every moment of their existence, and nothing else announces its own end with such a fanfare. Glad you could make it. The party's about to start. Good year. Let's drink the Stillman, shall we? If you destroy the big shell, you'll never collect your ransom. Ransom? What are you talking about? Thirty billion dollars in cash. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's going on. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you'll know soon enough. And I could care less what they plan to do. My ambitions are much more simple. To be the most famous bomber of them all. You're nuts! No one's gonna give a damn about you! Oh yes, they will. I'll go down in history. As the man who beat Peter Stillman, that's the only reason I assisted them. Like hell you beat Stillman! He had your number! What did you say? You have nothing of his courage, or... <laughs> what are you laughing at? That croc died a dishonorable death six months ago! Six months ago, the liquidation of Dead Cell. Call it what you want, only the right stuff survived that hell. 
set me free, you know. Open the way to a new dimension. So that I can become the Emperor among Detonation devotees. You're nothing but a common criminal, and that's the only way people will ever remember you. Oh, damn you! I'm an artist! That is why I dislike boorish military types. It's time to start the party! This is how it works. I plant a bomb, and it'll explode soon after that. If you prefer to stay in one piece, you'll have to disable my bombs. Laugh and grow fat! Let's move! Seconds and it's all 
a little time off from bottom. Use the first person view to go for the head. The blast suit can't protect him from the impact of the shot itself. A series of rapid fire will knock him off balance and create an opportunity for attack. Use it.
It's over for you. That's what you think. What do you mean? What did you just do? What is this? I have beautiful hands. These delicate hands can craft works of art. Answer me, what the hell is this? It's the switch for the biggest bomb of the entire place. Huh? No use. Once it's activated, there's no stopping the count. Where did you plant it? Where is it? Somewhere in this area. Don't worry, it's very close by. Where is it? Go ahead, shoot me. I'm already dead. Damn! Think you can find it? When it goes off, it'll take the big shell with it. Tell me where I can find the bomb! That's your problem. This is the highlight of the party. Bring it on, I say. They'll be happy too. I die here and start my legend. Too bad you won't be around to see the movies. Laugh and grow fat! Good work, Raiden. Looks like all the bombs are neutralized. One of their main leverages is now gone. That leaves... Colonel, Fat Man didn't seem to know about the ransom demands. Intentionally kept in the dark, I'd say. He seemed to be coming from a very different place from the other terrorists. Hmm. 
Raiden, a lot of hostages, our president included, are still in danger. Keep your mind focused on protecting them. <sighs> what are my orders? Rescue the president. We have no idea where he is. You haven't been in the Central Core yet. I suggest you start there. Wait, I have another call. Want me to take it? No, I'll go offline. Best to keep our presence unknown. How you doing, kid? Pliskin, is everything all right? Could be better. Looks like I was out cold for a while. How did you manage to stay alive? Had a little help from a friend. Friend? What about the bomb? Diffused. And Fat Man, too. That's good news. How's Shell, too? It's a mess. The bomb crippled H-Strut. What about the toxins? The what? If the big shell blows up, the explosion is expected to produce massive amounts of toxins. Never heard anything about that. Huh? Well, looks like there's not much danger of that in any case. But the central core is starting to flood. It won't last much longer. Well, what about the President and the other hostages? They weren't in Shell 2. They must be in Shell 1. We need to get the hostages out of here now. It's too far from Manhattan for a swim. What about the lifeboats? There doesn't seem to be any. Doesn't make sense. So a chopper is our only extraction? Right. And it comes with a passenger limit. Intel has it that there are about 30 hostages. And take more than a single trip. We'll have to come back. Can you pilot a chopper? No. But I brought a gearhead with me. He's a good guy. I'll introduce you later. Pliskin, I'm on the heliport right now, but I don't see their Harrier. It's out somewhere. We'd better move now, then. Our chances with a Harrier after us are close to nothing. Do you know where the President is? No. That one's all yours. The President is at the top of our rescue list. These are our orders, Lieutenant J.G. Your orders, not mine. What? See you later. Identify yourself. I'm like you. I have no name. Are you Mr. X? Hmm. If you like. But come. Let's get out of the open. Follow me. Are you with Foxhound too? Neither enemy nor friend. Just a messenger from the Lali Lubelo. This is safer, I think. Safe from what? Eavesdropping, of course. All right. Why did you contact me? I've been ordered to give you backup, including the relaying of necessary intel. Ordered by whom? Why won't you identify yourself? There is no need for you to know. I'll decide whether I need to know. You are not yet trusted to make such decisions. <sighs> I'll tell you something you do need to know instead. The current location of the President. What? Or rather, the person who knows the current location of the President. Who is it? A Secret Service agent named Ames, currently being held with other hostages. Secret Service, huh? The head of the President's security detail, Ames has been fitted with the same type of VIP nanomachine system as the President. If you are within range, you should be able to communicate. Why are you telling me this? Do I need to repeat myself? There's no reason for me to believe any of this. You understand that? Of course, but you also have no choice but to believe. <sighs> Do you have any other leads? Where are those hostages? <laughs>
The hostages are being held in the B1 conference hall, in the Shell 1 core. You'll find Ames there. What does he look like? We don't know if it is indeed a he. I've never met this person either. How am I supposed to look for someone without even a description? Use your ears. What's that supposed to mean? Ames has a pacemaker. You'll be able to hear the machine sound in a heartbeat. You expect me to walk up to these hostages and listen to every one of their heartbeats? The sound is too minute to detect and amplify it. You'd be captured immediately. So what am I supposed to do? Use the directional microphone. There's one somewhere in the core. Take this. The security guard will unlock all level 2 security doors, including the one into the core. It's called a PAM card. It works together with your body's own electronic field. And watch yourself. The core is more heavily guarded than any other section of the big shell. You'll get nowhere just like that. Try this instead. One of the terrorists? The surveillance camera won't let you on the elevator without the right uniform. You want me to disguise myself? Men assigned to the core and those on perimeter duty are given different colors to wear. Your new outfit will work in some areas, not others. The uniform alone won't fool them either. You're talking about weapons. Right, you need an AK. But I saw them carrying an AN-94. All men assigned to the core section carry AKs. So without an AK-74U, someone will see through me really quick. You could take care of the weapon issue yourself. One other thing. There's more? You'll also have to pass a retinal scan to get into the conference hall. Biometrics. Crap. Nothing but the real thing will suffice. Deception is not an option here. I suggest you hurry. They have a nuke on their side. The nuke? They have a nuclear weapon with them? You didn't find their continuing presence here unusual? Even with the president as hostage, this is an island, and they have no visible means of escape. Even if they do have a nuke, the warhead is no good without an access code. The security lockout can't be bypassed. They don't need to. They have the code. You saw it too, I believe. The Navy man will have a handcuff. The other half of it is on the football, or the black case if you like. The nuclear button. And now they have it. Why did they have to bring the football along? To a decontamination plant of all places. But they did have to. Because, after all, the big shell is the farthest thing from a cleanup plant there is. What? Dead Cell didn't have to bring a nuke along with them. It was right here to begin with. Nothing in this affair is what it seems. A cover-up? But why? For what? For Metal Gear that is housed here. Metal Gear? The very same. My metal nuke came up from the airport Shadow Moses in free. This place is the R&D center for its newest incarnation. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Better ask games the rest. What's this for? You might be glad you have it. Keep the controller's vibration function on. What do I need a cell phone for? Colonel, who is that man just now? He's not one of ours. No, we have no one like that in our unit. He said that the Big Shell was housing a new model of Metal Gear. First I've heard of it. Colonel, what are you not telling me? I've been completely open with you, Raiden. I've told you everything. Is that everything you know? Or everything I need to know? Snap out of it, Raiden. I'll have the Metal Gear rumor looked into. You need to make contact with this Ames. So you believe that, Ninja? Since we have no leads on the President's current location, we have no other alternatives. Right now, collect as much data as you can, including anything on Metal Gear. Are those my orders? 
Yes, they are. Disguise yourself as an enemy soldier and infiltrate the Shell One core. Understood. What can I do for you, Jack? Got a minute, Jack? Rose? I found some information on where Solid Snake is interred. Great. Shoot. I've located the grave site. And the body? Exhumed for DNA testing. Well, do you have the results? The right arm was missing, but there was no doubt that it was him. That body belongs to Solid Snake. Hmm. So the head of the terrorist group must be... An imposter. Right. You sound disappointed. I guess. I guess I was kind of hoping to meet the legend in the flesh. I get you. But it looks like he's not behind this incident. Raiden, the President needs you, I think. Disguise yourself as enemy personnel and infiltrate the core section. Your priority is to contact Agent Ames.
guys that I need some help here. L1's core has extremely tight security. Impersonate an enemy personnel to infiltrate the section. 
For a proper disguise, select the enemy field uniform you receive from the ninja. This will allow you to blend in. But you still need one more thing. It will look suspicious if you're not carrying the standard equipment. All personnel in the Corps are equipped with AK-74Us. Select your own AK when you're in disguise. Find yourself an AK. You have a level 2 card in your possession. Go and search the warehouse in Strut F. Pliskin, do you read me? What's up, Raiden? I just ran into a guy decked out like a, a ninja. A ninja? Yeah. Do you know anything about this? No. Can you trust that costumed freak? I don't know. But the colonel told me to follow the guy's instructions. And like a good soldier, you'll do it, right? I'll let you in on a little secret, kid. The ninja that was publicized in the Shadow Moses incident no longer exists. The guy you met has no connection whatsoever with the incident. And how do you know that? Because I do. Huh? Just be careful who you trust, okay? Is everything all right? Right? Right in!
Looks like you've got an AK. If you wear an enemy's field outfit and carry an AK, you can pass for one of them. Listen up, kid, and don't forget this. Only the guards in Shell 1's core are armed with AK rifles. The others are armed with the AN-94, the official rifle of the Russian army. If you hope to disguise yourself as the enemy, you don't want to be carrying an AK outside of Shell 1's core. Replacement guard for the area. Understood. Reinforcements are on the way to Strut F. Intensify the level of security. Thank you. 
Retinol pattern recognized. You are cleared to enter.
clear.
You have the directional microphone. According to our information, Ames has a pacemaker. This should make his cardiac pattern fairly distinct. Use the directional microphone to locate it.
What's up, Jack? Jack, how's the mission going? Fine. Fine? Is that it? Look, I really don't feel like talking about the mission. At least with you. I want to talk about something else. Okay then, let's talk about you. Me? Yeah, your least favorite subject. That's not... Oh yeah? Then go ahead and say something. Like what? Anything. Tell me something about yourself. I can't think of anything interesting to say. Why do you want to talk about me so badly? Because I'm curious. But why? Is it really that strange to want to know more about someone you love? No, it's not strange, but... You know, sometimes I... Oh, look, now we're talking about me, not you. Uh... Why won't you tell me anything about what you were like as a child? What kind of things you liked to do? What kind of people your parents were? I've never heard you talk about any of that. Why? I... Don't you think it's just a little bit unusual? That I don't know anything about my own boyfriend's past? Rose, when I get back, I'll tell you everything. Is that a promise? Yes, it's a promise. <sighs> Recognized. You are cleared to enter. Right. One of those hostages in there is Ames. The only thing we know is that Ames wears a pacemaker. His heartbeat should sound different from other people's, so use the directional microphone to locate him. Once you recognize Ames by his heartbeat, keep the microphone pointed toward him. Then push the action button and call out to him. If it really is Ames, he should respond in some way. What if it's the wrong person? The guards may get suspicious and come running instead. Security could get tighter, too. Try to be sure before you take the risk. Don't call out to a hostage with the action button until you're fairly sure that it's Ames. If you do make a mistake, switch the microphone for an AK and get out of there before a guard gets suspicious. If you're discovered inside, they'll cut off your retreat and call in the reinforcements. You won't make it out of the room. The mission will be over if you're discovered. Don your disguise and look for Ames while deflecting the enemy's suspicion. No problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core.
Queen's in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. Your aims, aren't you? Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. Raiden, retain your cover at all costs inside that conference hall. There's only one way in and out of the area. If you're discovered inside, they'll cut. Your aims, aren't you? You must be Ames. Keep still and listen to me. I'm not a terrorist. I got in here using one of their uniforms. I'm taking off the tape. Stay quiet. Who, who told you about me? An informer calling himself Mr. X, dressed like a ninja. I see. Take this thing off me, will you? I'm Richard Ames. Secret Service? No, I was sent in by the Lali Lule Lo, just like you. You what? You're here to find out where the President is. We have little time, so I'll be brief. How about switching to nanocommunications first? Nanocommunications? Right, silence beats talk when it comes to safety. Are you on? Right here. Do you really know where the President is? Almost certainly. He was moved to the first floor of Shell 2's core section. The first floor? The core of Shell 2? Is he still there? I don't know. I can't get a response. You don't think he's been like the other hostages? Hmm? A hostage was killed in retaliation after the SEAL-10 disaster, remember? What are you talking about? Regardless of what they do to other hostages, they won't touch the president. What makes you so sure? The case. You mean the nuclear button they took? Right. And the case won't do a thing by itself. That case may be the single most advanced example of a weapons failsafe system. The password is nothing less than the physiological data of the U.S. president. Physiological data? The president's own vital signs. Heartbeat, brainwave pattern, blood pressure and so on are constantly monitored and relayed by his internal nanomachines. This information along with the DNA pattern serve as a biometric password, unbreakable even by the latest parallel processor supercomputers. The password entry itself cannot be performed unless brainwave patterns and heartbeats fall within normal parameters, rendering chemical and other forms of coercion impractical. In other words, the login must be made of the president's own free will. As a failsafe, the input must also be reconfirmed hourly, even after the initial login. If a valid confirmation is not forthcoming, the system will automatically cancel the login. And that's why they can't harm the president. At least until the bird flies. Is there really a new model of Metal Gear here? Absolutely. The black case serves as the launch key to Metal Gear as well. 
Why would they hide Metal Gear in an offshore plant? Haven't they told you anything? The entire thing was planned. The oil spill, the tanker accident that caused it, everything. The big shell was built specifically for the development of a new Metal Gear model. The inspection tour was to check its progress. What's going on around here? Wait! Here comes Snake. That's him? Use the microphone to listen in. King, Fat Man is dead. It doesn't matter. Saved us the trouble of getting rid of him ourselves. Why did he betray us? Who knows? They're a band of lunatics to begin with. Nothing they do should come as a surprise. I'll have his background rechecked, just in case. You think he was working for them? We can't discount the possibility. Especially with that intruder still at large. Yes. The man in the sneaking suit. You know more about those suits than I do. But Foxhound was disbanded four years ago. So it must be... the Patriots. What about the damage to Shell 2? The circulation system for the contaminated water has been damaged. The water being drawn in is overflowing, and the lower block of the central section is flooding. Seal the connecting pathway between Shells 1 and 2. The Simtex and IR sensors are already in place. Any effect on... it? No. What about the President? The password entry has already been made to the Black Case. In one hour, we'll need a confirmation from him. His work is done after that. Make sure you keep him alive until then. Yes, I know. What about the unit's activation? Almost complete. The code has already been entered. All we need now is for the girl to start the system. The usual method, I assume? No. The drugs took care of everything. Hmm. Only a few more steps to outer heaven. Who is that cyborg ninja, Shalashaska? I cannot even guess. What about you? I'm having the matter looked into. Olga, don't cast suspicion where it isn't due. Where it isn't due? When you watched my father die and did nothing. It's been two years ago, Olga. Let it go. I read the case file for Shadow Moses, by the way. Olga, how could you suspect me? I know that the ninja is not one of my men. How meaningful you make that sound. If Sergei were still alive... If the old man were still alive, I wouldn't need to take orders from you. Olga, Sergei was my best friend. If you sell us out... I'll kill you myself. Listen, daughter of Sergei. Don't ever let me see your gun pointed at me again. If you wish, I'll put a bullet in your back instead. I took you both in when no one else would. You think any government would have you as irregulars in this political climate? The worst kind of wet works, maybe. But even that's doubtful. I recommend against switching camps. You've nowhere left to go. It's happening again. This damn right arm. Liquid! It's almost as if it's having its revenge! How much do you think we spent on that arm in Lyon? The best transplant surgery team in the world! I never trust a Frenchman. There's something going on. The incidents are becoming more frequent. Maybe that man's presence... Ocelot. I leave this place in your hands. I have the intruder to take care of. Yes, King.
Is that really Solid Snake? That's what he claims. I thought Snake was dead. Solid Snake did die. But he's also here in the shell. Either he survived or there are two of them. Two of them? And that's impossible. Anyway, what did you manage to catch? They said password input was complete. I thought so. You said the password entry into the black case had to be made by the president willingly. That's right. So this means the president is cooperating with them. It would have to be, yes. Why? Probably tired of being a puppet, but it wasn't a smart move to betray us. A puppet? We're running out of time. They will fire a nuke. You know what you need to do before then. Fire the nuke, but it's nowhere close to the ransom deadline. Ransom? Thirty billion dollars in cash. What are you babbling about? The nuclear strike is not a threat. It's been the objective all along. They plan to slaughter millions of people. No, a high-altitude detonation. You've heard of the Compton effect? Total disruption of electronic equipment caused by EMMA pulse. Textbook answer. Well, when an average nuclear warhead goes off within the atmosphere, the result is an electromagnetic pulse of up to 50 billion megawatts. The EMMA field can reach tens of thousands of volts per meter, and most electronic equipment will be toast in an instant. If one of the key movers of world economy stops functioning, it could mean the beginning of a global depression. But that isn't their aim. What they plan to do is liberate Manhattan, pull it offline and turn it into some kind of a republic. Hence, Sons of Liberty, I suppose. Sons of Liberty? Damn! Ocelot is coming. I'm going offline. Search my pocket. Hurry! It's a security card. You'll be able to unlock doors of up to level 3 security. Use it to get to Shell 2. Take care of the President before they launch the nuke. He's coming here! Pick up your AK! What do you think you're doing? I asked him to remove these. I'm ill, you see. I always knew that the DIA turned out second-rate liars. What are you talking about? No need for denials. We know what you are, Colonel Ames. They knew that the President was planning to betray them. So they sent you in to keep tabs on him. Am I right? You! Sorry, Colonel. You failed to carry out your duties. You'll never escape the Lali Lule Lo. Is that so? What the? You. You. You tricked me. I understand now. Ocelot. You. You. Which team are you with? Show me your face! You know who he is. No, he is not one of mine. Identify yourself! Hm. We meet at last.
Ames is dead. Looked like a heart attack. Hmm, that's unfortunate. However, we do at least know where the president is. So there really is a new type of Metal Gear in this place? Apparently. We're still looking into it. I've also been told that the nuclear strike was what the terrorists were after from the start, not the 30 billion dollars. Right. It was a cover-up all along. Colonel, what are you keeping from me? I am not keeping back anything. It's not as though I'm told all the facts either. I'm pulling in all the favors I can to look into all this. Just be a little patient. Our priority should be with the President right now. We can take it that they've completed the password entry and are preparing Metal Gear for nuclear strike. Get to the President as soon as possible. But the President is cooperating with them. According to Ames, yes. But it's also true that they're about to get rid of the President. There's something else going on here. And the President may be able to tell you what it is when you see him in person. Ah. Once they get the confirmation for nuclear launch, they'll do it. You need to rescue the President before then. Jack, I agree with the Colonel. You need to protect the President for now. All right. What's up, Jack? Rose. So, have you decided to talk yet? Nope. That's too bad. Why are you so interested in me all of a sudden? Because I'm curious. More so than before, does it really bother you that much? There must be some things you don't want to say. Like what? You know, those things you don't want to say. Let's see. Things you don't want to say. Like that you've been married before, that you're 80 years old, that you used to be a woman. Rose. What exactly is it you won't tell me? Do you think I'd hate you if I knew? Do you really have that little faith in me? No, it's nothing like that. Then what is it? It's... It really bothers me. The fact that there's a side of you I don't know. Sometimes, I just can't help myself. You've got me right now. Isn't that enough? No, it's not. I'm sorry, I know I'm being greedy, but it's just not enough. Encounter DMV request.
back. Do you need to save? Jack, have you remembered what day it is tomorrow? Uh, no. I see. Uh, you said you had something you wanted to talk to me about? What was it? We'll talk about it tomorrow. Why does it have to be tomorrow? <laughs> so I can build up enough courage first. And so you won't run away. I would never do something like that. Liar. Every time I want to talk about something, you suddenly remember that you have some work you have to do, or you get a stomachache. Hey, that's not... You know it's true. What are you so afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything, and I won't try to run away. Is that so? Well then, we'll talk tomorrow. Yeah. So, you have to come back, okay? 